I'm devastated by the accident. Absolutely devastated. Unfortunately for Tony Hayward, too many of his comments about the disaster in the Gulf spoke much louder than those. BP's board meets Monday amid a flood of reports that Hayward is out. There is no doubt that he is going. It will be announced at the very latest on Tuesday. When Terry McAllister, energy editor of The Guardian in London, says the decision to oust Hayward is an attempt to salvage the BP brand in America, where the company earns fully 40 percent of its profits. The company cannot continue um, in its present state in America and the only way of giving itself a fighting chance is to get rid of the boss. Hayward provided all the rope necessary to hang himself. Tin-eared statements as a geyser of oil poured daily into the Gulf. Hayward to Britain Sky News. I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to be very modest. And this. There's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. Congress accused him of stonewalling their investigation into the spill. Two days later, Hayward went sailing off the Isle of Wight. Hayward hit all the negatives. He did everything wrong from a crisis management perspective. Hayward's replacement is said to be Bob Dudley, a newcomer to BP's board he joined just 18 months ago. He was considered for CEO in 2007, but lost out to Hayward. Most significant, Dudley is an American, born just 65 miles from the Gulf Coast. He's not only an American, he is someone from the district, from the Gulf area, which is a big thing. He is someone who is actively involved with cleaning up the mess, which is certainly a big plus for him. BP is expected to report huge second quarter earnings on Tuesday, $5 billion. Plenty to pay off Hayward's severance and pension, totaling nearly $17 million. But those profits are swamped by the amount that BP has set aside for Gulf claims and cleanup. $15 billion so far, but not nearly enough, according to most experts. Russ? Tony Guy, thanks a lot.